Hello everyone, welcome to Sim Reviews, and we are back with another video. In this video, we are going to show you some tips and tricks for the new U Euphoria. Uh, actually, not uh, only limited to U Euphoria. I mean, you can also use these tips and tricks as your uh, you have flashed your phone with Cyanogen Mod OS or uh, any Cyanogen Mod custom ROM. So uh, you can uh, it can actually work with different uh, Cyanogen Mod OS too. So yes, uh, when you long press the home home screen, yes, some options, wallpaper, widgets, and settings. So you just press this arrow, and you get this uh, whole lot of settings. Whether you want the search bar on the screen or not, what what scroll effect should be done uh, using the zoom in, uh, zoom out, and different. Uh, for let's just try with uh, zoom out scroll uh, wallpaper scroll effect. So you can show your icon labels, your grid size, how much apps uh, do you want, uh, do you want 4x4 or many or even condensed and even set the custom range, uh, how much uh, grid uh, grid you want and that's uh, different settings, the scroll effect uh, is mainly uh, for making your, uh, uh, wall, uh, making your screen uh, uh, different uh, a whole looking a whole lot of customized and now here yeah, at the bottom is the protected apps where you need to just first time uh, you need to enter a pattern and you will be good to go here is the app list uh, you will select and from the selected app list uh, if you select this apps these are protected from the user uh, and any other user won't be able to uh, open these apps uh, without your permission or without you uh, uh, entering that pattern would uh, unprotect this app so this is basically a good uh, a good sign uh, where you a lot of customizations are happening in the Cyanogen mode OS and the second customization is the app uh, the notification drawer uh, here you can actually customize what I uh, toggles you want what different settings you you will be needing so let's just start with uh, the setting screen uh, it's all uh, the same uh, as here the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, the same as the your stock Android. The changes here is the display, where you need you can actually set what uh, your uh, rotation, uh, what rotation you want. Zero, that's the zero degree your uh, portrait. Uh, the ninety degree is this. The one eighty degree, which is uh, unchecked, and now if we checked, now this is one eighty degree, and now two seventy degree, and later on three sixty degree. That is all. Uh, also called uh, also comes in the zero degree so double tap to wake uh, awake the phone when you lock uh, you can just double tap and the screen is awake and double tap to sleep when you double tap your notification bar the phone goes to sleep mode and that's uh, quite a good feature and even uh, the expanded desktop mode is uh, a good sign uh, for uh, all of the icons all of the uh, bottom icons and the top notification bar are hidden and that's that's good uh, so the uh, next is the theme uh, where you can uh, uh, choose your theme uh, from uh, the various uh, 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 default uh, you have downloaded or even shop themes from here where it would take you to the themes pack where you can choose from free premium and just download it for you and you're good to go and another option is app themer when you select this uh, you get this um, a circle around where you click you it shows what default uh, theme you have on and what other themes you have remaining so you can select actually when I go now just let's go into the we are in the settings and I want puree system so a theme is being applied so here's the puree system the red it's quite uh, good when uh, you want your themes to be customized as well and the theme is customized on the real time basis so you don't need to uh, uh, apply theme and then check it and if you don't like and again change it the theme so it's quite a good feature and you can uh, easily dismiss these things and the next is the notification manager which is uh, almost as same as uh, the custom uh, custom screen whereas in lock screen there's this very great new settings where you can change the lock screen shortcuts where you can see if the lock screen lo uh, screen is locked you have this two options a dialer and the camera so here you can select what you want uh, and select the applications 
you need uh, what you want what different uh, apps you would be in uh, assigning to to that swipe and the next is the buttons here is the different buttons and layout uh, where you can edit and add more buttons where here you can add this side you can add a search button or a menu button where as this side you can add a menu uh, that is always show or always hide both of the only uh, default is uh, just two buttons which you can add i think there would be um, adding much more to this and you can always uh, see the power menu like if i want switch so here's uh, your option what options you would get in here so you can actually uh, decide what options you so get the here. system profiles uh, isn't that new uh, you can select default silent and all of your but you can uh, what's new is you can customize you can customize and add more system profiles and uh, add some more different triggers uh, what uh, what uh, Wi-Fi you want to connect and what uh, what time you connect the Wi-Fi and which profile you want to enter as soon as you connect this Wi-Fi you will enter this profile and another uh, connecting with another Wi-Fi or disconnecting the previous Wi-Fi would uh, make you enter a different system profile and that's a quite a cool feature and one cool feature you didn't notice was a black screen that's that's a whole lot of customization a black screen uh, in a customer in the stock Android uh, made from uh, made from Google uh, the background is white in color not not black so it's black it's good for your screen as it consumes less battery so here is uh, the status bar what what you want uh, the battery percent uh, should be next to the icon or uh, maybe hidden when even when you scroll it would show up or you want it inside the icon that's the circular icon uh, the battery icon as you can see here so uh, even the AM PM uh, you can customize your status bar the notification drawer is much of a great thing uh, a quick pull down uh, uh, setting is here whether you are a right hand user or a left hand user you can customize uh, a quick pull down as I'm a right hand user I can do it right here swapping it from the right edge of the over the top it would take you to the all of the toggles uh, in the bar and what do you want do you want to show show the weather here or not you can even customize that and you can order the tiles which which tiles you want and uh, it is a very great you can uh, uh, select the audio effects your battery mode color inversion compass NFC screen layout and system profiles also and that's quite a good of feature you can customize whatever toggles you want here in the uh, notification drawer and uh, it has also this uh, great feature where you can uh, you would select to enlarge the first row as you can see now it isn't enlarged and when I select this it's enlarged now so here is the en enlarging of the first row the brightness slider where I'm just touching and increasing the brightness it's quite great um, it helps a lot in uh, making uh, uh, select uh, changing the brightness on the go and adapting with uh, your uh, various light you want and the next is the uh, maybe this is it actually these are the only um, customized uh, or additional features from the uh, cyanogen mod and it's quite good uh, though and even in the apps you get um, not much settings here you don't get here and that's all uh, that uh, that is the setting you don't get much more settings than this and that uh, that is quite good and all, all of the settings are uh, much more customized uh, you can customize over uh, where as uh, we showed you app themer you can customize the whole themes the uh, even the icons would be customized you can customize uh, the on-screen navigation keys you can customize the notification drawer and all of those different settings um, which you want you uh, you can even customize what you want here do you want to start the Google now or anything else and that that the beauty of Synogen mod OS so as a, a pre, uh, as an um, 
you can see we did here on the u euphoria uh, this can also be done on different phones running the cyanogen mod os even on the u eureka or all of your uh, even on the one plus one which runs the uh, cyanogen mod os but now um, it had they have launched the oxygen os so here is uh, that's all for this video uh, that's all from us so uh, uh, in conclusion it's great to see such a customized operating system and now just take a uh, we will take a leave from you so if you like the video do hit that thumbs up button uh, do write your comments uh, or queries or suggestions for us in the uh, comment section below